All right, these are our Camelanus worms. These are the ones that were taken out of the canister. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ish. And that's only out of the canister filter. So yeah. And I've noticed that this one here, this one, is actually losing its colour because it's not actually in the in the tank or whatever connected to a fish like these other ones um yeah so i don't know if they're little ones baby one baby ones medium size big ones mums dads whatever's i don't know but i'm going to leave them in this container and i'm going to see what they do seeing that there's no hosts no other fish in there for them to suck the blood from i'm just gonna look at them for the next couple of days and see what happens so um stay tuned okay well not even 24 hours later and um yeah they've all shriveled up as you can see instead of being long stringy things like they used to be they've actually lost color because i'm guessing because there's no actual fish to to suck the blood out of and they've all, instead of being long stringy things, they've gone into little round balls type things. And it's kind of weird. If you have a look, they're sucking, hanging on to any bit of debris or anything else in the container that's there. Um, there wasn't much debris when I put it in there the other yesterday. Um, so I think that the debris is actually coming out of them as well. So, don't know. Very interesting, but I'm keeping them in this container, which has only got a little bit of water, as you can see. There's only very minimal water in the bottom. And um, just doing a test to see what happens to them, just out of interest. So I've just taken the blankets off earlier. I've done a 50% water change and everything back to normal routine, so it tells me. and. Lo and behold, in the middle of the night, I've got new baby plecos. Look at that. There's six of them. So, all the darkness overnight, with the wrap and all that sort of stuff, they actually decided to have some babies. Maybe because of the water change. But yeah, but as you can see, I've not lost any fish. The plecos, the, well, the L144 albino plecos are having a good old time. All the other fish are everything doing right as normal. It's just a bit cloudy because of the water change, but that'll get better in a couple of hours. So, um, yeah, I haven't lost any fish, which is good. So now we just got to wait and see, and I'll keep my eye on the tank for the next week or so. See, even my little friends down here, See, they're fine. See, my little mate down there, he's alright. There's a few hiding in there as well. Uh, so, everything seems to be okay. See, there's another little one. There's another one in there. So, there's about six of them that I've seen when I took the blanket off and before I did the water change. There's about half a dozen new ones. There's another one there. There's one on top of the pump. There's a couple around. See, there's another one. So, and these are all born overnight last night while the covers were on and while in the middle of doing the Lamisole treatment. So, um, everything seems to be as normal. Um, looking at these, there's no worms or anything sticking out of them, which is good. So, they're all okay. Even the ones that are a, couple, a bit older. There's nothing sticking out of them or anything, so I don't know, I'm a bit... So, I didn't find any worms in the gravel anywhere, in the substrate. So, yeah, so it's a bit intriguing as to um, what's going on. But I did, as I showed in the earlier video, I did find four or five of the red worms, but they were only in the canister filter. 
They're not in anywhere else but in the canister, in the bottom part of the filter. So we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. But um, so now we just wait for a week and then when I do another water change and see whether or not I need to do another treatment because I'll check the canister. And as I said, that's the only way for me to find out that I had the worms in the first place and um, to know what was that there was something going on. So everything else seems to be okay as per normal after a water change. And uh, one thing I did notice, there is lots and lots of lots of trumpet snails. I found a whole colony of them all in this area. So there's lots of them. And I was a bit curious with the red. See the red in the snail? See the red in the snail? I was a bit curious as to whether that's a worm or something or not. So I took out a few of them. I squashed them and I had a look. But no, couldn't see anything in it. So there's another one there. There's um, two snails there having a bit of fun on their own. So the tank's healthy. Everything's going all right. So we'll just wait and see, I guess. All right, I woke up this morning and checked the tank. It's uh, 20 past nine in the morning and um, quite surprised, but the fish tank is still that kind of um, hazy kind of effect. Maybe it's the, um, the Vamisol still in the canister and still in the tank and whatever else, but um, I don't know. So um, I'll have to wait and see because I've never had it like this. This is uh, only, I'm guessing, because of the Levamisol, so um, not sure. But my little friends are still doing okay. See? Still moving around. I've got some fry up here. Hey, look at this little fella. Look at that. Oh, it's two there. There's a little one up on top there. Oh, look at them all there. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six there. So there's a couple more and the others are all still okay on the rest and one of the bigger ones is under there having a good old time all the rest of the fish seem to be doing okay so um yeah i'm not really sure what's going on but um give it a couple of days and find out i guess <coughs> all right day two after the treatment and the tanks pretty much back to you clear well not quite but it's a lot clearer than what it was yesterday so the canister filter is um cleaning it as it should so um i guess pretty much back to normal there's my little babies look at my little babies look at them whoa, whoa. getting bigger getting bigger but yeah pretty much so i guess Okay, so this is uh, day five after treatment, and as you can see, everything seems to be A-OK. -okay. So I've just fed them. Everyone seems to be all right. Um, there's Dad in the background, a couple of L270s beside him. Um, plenty of the albino plecos are out having a feed. There you go, there's one of the little 270s. Well, not little, but he's getting a bit big now, so yep. And, then, and obviously dad's got fry in there because he's wafting his tail so yep so that's some more fry um, all the albinos are happy and feeding as per normal uh, and there's new batch there some of the newer ones as they, as you can see they're all feeding okay a couple of the new ones up the back they're all feeding okay so yeah, but I'll do another treatment again on Sunday. As you can see, the blue rams, or whatever you want to call them these days, are all okay. Cardinals are all okay. Rummy noses are all okay. And so are the Corys. So I've lost no fish, which luckily is good news. Um, still got a few little baby albino placos floating around um, but as at the moment I can't see any of them so yeah but otherwise the tanks all okay so
Mm. So as you can see, some of the new ones, or some of the old ones, a couple of months, about a month and a half old now. Um, and then there's some younger ones just back from that. It's usually a couple of 270s. There's one in there, hiding in there. As you can see, in there's my finger there. So there it is there. The L270. Uh, there's another one in there, a bit hard to see him, but there he is, just moving his tail just then, just in there. Um, there's about 20 L270s in here at the moment. Um, it's a bit hard to see with the glare, but there's another one in there. See, um, if I can zoom in on him, there he is there. Yep, and that's the thing, they tend to move around a bit. Um, well, the little ones there. Some of the Corys in the background, there's one of the big, big dads, that's dad over there, on the L270s, dad, hiding over there. So yeah, but everything seems to be running okay, but I'll do another treatment of Levamisole on Sunday, and wrap it up and clean it, and do a filter change, and water change and everything on Sunday, and we'll see how we go. So, all good otherwise at the moment. Look, I love them. Look at them. Look at the size of it. And then you get ones that are this big. And then you get ones that are that big that's mum and dad. Okay, so this is day five of the worms afterwards. And um, as you can see, they're still in there. They are still alive without any hosts. All right, this is in a container that I put, after I found them, I took them out, I put them in. And there they are, the suckers are still alive, all right? And this is just in a little bowl with some water, all right? And that's five days after, and look, nothing to feed on, nothing, anything, and there they are. And if you watch carefully, look, it is still moving around on its own. See the tip of it moving? Right up the top here. See, what, look, there you go, look. Look at that. Still alive and still moving. Five days after being taken out of the tank, it is still alive and still moving around with no host. There were six worms in here. And this is the main one, and look, it is still alive and still moving. And there's the other ones in there. Um, they've got whatever it is, some detritus or whatever it is. But this one, look, it is still moving and still alive, even after treatment of the levamisole, and even after being taken out, put in a separate container of water, with nothing in the water other than just water from the tank and these fish, or these worms only, nothing else. So I don't know what's keeping alive, but I tell you, they are mean suckers. They are really small. All right. No. And that's how big the bowl is, right? And there's only just a bit of water in the bottom. And there they are. Look at it. Bastard little things.